I'm Patricia McClellan Terrell, and I write under the pen name P.M. Terrell, and today I want to talk to you about a book that I just read called The Shadowy Horses by Susanna Kearsley, and Susanna Kearsley is one of my favorite authors. In this book, um, archaeologist Verity Gray is summoned to Scotland to perform uh, an excavation. The owner of this remote manor house believes that um, the Ninth Roman Legion was encamped in his field on his property and that the lost legion is actually there buried and he has hired Verity and a team to excavate the area to prove that um, that the Roman Legion perished right there. Well, the, the first night that Verity is there, um, she hears the horses outside of her bedroom window. Um, during the night, she hears them whinnying and snorting and thundering across the field. And it's obvious that it isn't just one or two horses, but it's a, um, a group of horses, a large group of horses. And yet when she awakens the next morning and goes downstairs, she finds that there are no horses for miles around. Things get even more interesting when she meets the cook's son. This little boy has um, paranormal gifts, which I've since come to find that, um, that in Scotland, it's just a matter of, of um, you know, everyday occurrence, I guess, for them that, you know, the people believe in these abilities to see those who have gone before. The, the ghosts or the phantoms of those that once were, where in America, um, there there's tends to be less of that for some reason. And Verity, being English, is um, is trying to logically explain away this boy's uh, paranormal gifts. He can hold an object, for example, and tell when it was used and why it was used and um, and how it came to be in the field. He can see the ghost of a Roman sentinel who walks along the ridge every day and it turns out that Verity looks enough like his sister to remind him of her and he feels, the ghost feels compelled to stay close to Verity, to watch over her and to protect her. And um, the little boy can also at times be almost consumed by uh, some sort of a ghostly presence or something on the other side so that he doesn't remember what's happened, um, but clearly he was um, possessed in some way. Well, um, there's also a team there who is helping Verity, and it includes um, a Scot named David. So in addition to, um, to her work living in this uh, large remote house while she's working, and the ghost, there is also a romance developing between her and this Scott. Well, I have loved every book that I have read of Susanna Kearsley, and I haven't read them all, so I'm going to be doing a lot more reviews as I do. But she, she reminds me of why I fell in love with writing. You know, she writes in, um, in a, a modern day version of Daphne du Maurier or Mary Stewart. So if you enjoyed those books um, when you were growing up, I think that you would absolutely love her books. The, the characters are all complex. And as the book progresses, um, each layer is just kind of peeled back so that you learn more and more about each character. 
and the setting is just so exquisitely written that you know there were scenes where I, I could smell the heather in the field or I could um, I could feel the rain moving in you know that that sense of, of heaviness in the air and knowing that things were changing I could um, I could smell and experience the fish market in the village and all of the activity that was going on there and um, I could hear the shadowy horses thundering across those fields and I could sense the sentinel, the ghostly presence of that man who will forever roam the last place where he was encamped. Reading any of Kearsley's books is an immersive experience. There's a twist at the end of this book that I didn't see coming, but in retrospect, all the clues were there, hidden in plain sight. So needless to say, I give this book a huge thumbs up, five stars, and I recommend that you read The Shadowy Horses by Susanna Kearsley. And please follow my YouTube videos. Um, if you haven't subscribed to follow them, please do. And you will find this in writing, all of my reviews, plus a lot more information on my website at pmterrell.com. Thanks for joining me.